Factoring trinomials where that leading coefficient is not 1, for example, here you see it's 3x squared, is a little more complicated to factor it using guessing and checking. So there are some algorithms, but I'm going to show you one here. Some people call it the AC method. And here's how it goes. You take that leading coefficient, in this example it's 3, and you multiply by the constant. Here we have 10. So 3 times 10 is 30, and you go ahead and write it down. Now, you have to break down the number 30 in all the different ways through multiplication that you can make 30. So 1 times 30, uh, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6 are the different ways that you can make 30. Now look through that list and I want you to tell me which one adds up to 17x because 17x is the middle term. Which one is it? It is the 2 and the 15. So we're going to take that 17x and we're going to write it down below, but instead of writing 17x, we're going to split it into 2x plus 15x. I'm going to bring down the other terms that we have not done anything with here. And we have a nice polynomial. Now it has four terms and we can do what's called the grouping method. We look at those first two and we take out the GCF. The GCF on the first two is x. That leaves behind 3x plus 2 inside a parenthesis. Now turn your attention to the last two terms and the GCF there is 5. And that leaves behind 3x plus 2. Well, look at that. They have the same binomial. It's called a common binomial. So you can factor that out and write it one time right here. And then in a second set of parentheses, you write what's left behind. It was the x and the positive 5. We have just reverse foiled the trinomial that was given 3x squared plus 17x plus 10, and we used an algorithm. There was no guessing and checking. Now, I have two more examples lined up that have minus signs in them, and that does change things a bit, so stick with me. Like I said before, a trinomial, as you see here, would be very difficult to guess and check, so we're going to use the algorithm. We take the 8 times the negative 3, and we write down negative 24. Now, what are the different ways to make 24? Well, we could take 1 times 24. We could take 2 times 12, 3 times 8, or 4 times 6. Those are the different ways. But we need to make negative 24. So one of the numbers needs to be negative, and we need to make a positive middle term, positive 10x. So I'm going to change all the smallest numbers to be negative, because remember, I want to make a positive 10x. Now, which of those adds up to positive 10x? It's not 4 and 6, is it? It's 12 and negative 2. We will take our 10x. We're going to rewrite it as negative 2x plus 12x. Now bring down the other two terms. And from here on out, we're just doing the grouping method. We factor out the greatest common factor on the first two. And that leaves 4x minus 1. And then on the second, we factor out a 3. And we've got our fingers crossed that we're going to see a 4x minus 1. And look at that. We do. We have a 4x minus 1. So the factorization would be 4x minus 1 times 2x plus 3. I've got one more example with some more minus signs in it. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this algorithm. We take the 6 times the negative 6 and we write negative 36. Now we rack our brain. How many different ways can we make 36? There's quite a bit here, so give me a moment to write them all down. 3 times 12, we've got 4 times 9, and we've got 6 times 6. Now, once again, we're making negative 36, so one of them has to be negative, one has to be positive, and all of these ways that I'm making 36, and this time I want to make a negative 5x middle term, so I believe I need to make the big number negative this time. So which of these add up to negative 5? And it's the 4 and the negative 9. So I'm going to split that up into 4x minus 9x, bring down that first term, bring down that last term, now do the grouping method. The greatest common factor on the first two terms is 2x. That leaves behind 3x plus 2. And on the second one, we're going to have to factor out a minus sign because we really want a positive 3x plus 2. So sometimes you have to make sure that you bring out that negative sign. So I'm going to bring out a negative 3. And that leaves 3x plus 2, just like we had hoped. So the factorization is 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 3.
Hey, if you found this video useful, hit that notification bell down below, like the video, and leave your comments down below. I enjoy reading them. Okay, until next time.